Hey guys, welcome to Finger Hunter Euro's Quest. First off, we're going to head to Murkwater Cave, shown on the map there. Or you could just kill the dragon in the middle of the lake. Either step works to progress the quest, but it's definitely easier to head to Murkwater Cave. So after we get out to Murkwater Cave, we will get invaded by um, a bloody finger. And then we'll be helped by a hunter of the finger. And there's just so many fingers in this game. There's three fingers, two fingers. What kind of finger are you? I'm eater of chocolate finger. But yeah, he will help you. And then after you've uh, been helped, you will get a dagger here. Bloody finger. Which is kind of cool. Uh, the Reduvia. It took me quite a while to actually activate uh, the Yuria. Come in. He waved his big washing pole and we were jobs a gooder. So after defeating the bloody finger together, we we'll get the Reduvia dagger. We can just head north here from under the bridge where we can exhaust all his dialogue and then we'll move on to the next step. Joining the fray, tarnished. Well, you fought Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I am Yura, hunter of bloody fingers, tarnished, held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots who stalk their own, you stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. Just remember. No kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. One last word of warning. Stay clear of Agil Lake. The great dragon roost, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad or wish to be burned alive, Stay clear of the lake. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. So next up we need to get the Academy Glintstone Key, which is marked on this island here. A dragon will be protecting it. This is Lunia. Quickly get the item. And you can get out there. You don't need to fight the dragon. So uh, mark where I have in the map and proceed forward. And get the Academy Glintstone key. So, after getting the Glintstone key from the dragon, point to this map on the bridge. Go to this grace with my arrow is. This is Rhea Lacuria. Need to go past the magic seal where we're gonna find a red summon sign. Thanks for your help there. That bloody finger was a thorn in my side. And now I'm finally rid of him. Here's a token of thanks. Please, take it. 
I may not have much time. I'm dying to see you. Eleonora. Violet Bloodyfinger. Yes, I've been tracking Eleonora for quite some time. She is the deadliest of all bloody fingers. She's felled many an old hand already, but in spite of her cess-blood zealotry, Eleonora is a proud knight. If she comes for you, do not think twice. You must flee. There is no shame in self-preservation. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again, if fate permits. So next up is Aldous Plateau area. So it is going to be a little bit further on in the game. So uh, mark this point in your map and he'll be in this uh, second church of Marika. So after exhausting the dialogue and getting his weapon, we will be invaded by Lenora, which you will have to battle with and defeat. So the next location is even further on in the game. It's the mountaintops of the giants and the, next to the Samora ruins, Grace. We'll just hit that and I'll show you exactly on the map where this is. It's pretty straightforward. It's uh, almost at the start of the mountains of giants. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding this area. But here you go. Exhaust the dialogue and... Uh, off you go. Finally, we meet the tarnished, the would-be lord. Oh my. Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. You are about to sacrifice something precious. The life of a fair maiden. That you would toss into the fiery forge. Only so that you may be lord. What a horrible thing to ponder. Your ascendancy requires her sacrifice. Whether she wishes it or not. But how would the lord crowned so be looked upon chosen tarnished and would be lord dare to tread the path of true rigor spare the poor girl and singe your own flesh in her stead if you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship then heed the words of I Shabriri. Chosen, tarnished, and would be descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh 
will serve as kindling, and the girl can be spared, setting you on the righteous path of lordship, the path of the lord of chaos. Burn the Erd tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos so here you might as well kill him because you get the same the reward and it doesn't change anything because he ends up dying even if you go down to Laeldale Royal, the capital, underneath to meet the Free Fingers and get the Frenzy Flame following Hyeta's quest, which I'm going to be doing if you want to know about that and get the Lord of Chaos ending. That's a separate uh, story altogether and quest. So you might as well kill him because it doesn't alter anything here. And then you can pick up the armor which uh, Yuri had, which is pretty good. So we've got the Nagakiba, we've got the Elna's Polbaid and River Dubia. Or whatever is pronounced, you know what I mean. I really do like this katana though. Uh, great move set, long range. You can actually put anything you want on it. You can make it what you want. Very good. It's my favorite, one of my favorites. I haven't tried the pole blade at all yet, but it does look very good. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It does have fire damage though, but it hits hits a lot. Obviously, I'm got the stats to use it. That's probably why it doesn't do too much damage, otherwise it would be OP. And got the Ruduvia, it actually bleeds. You can shoot out the blade like this. Very nice. If I was going to use a dagger, I think I'd go with this. Got bleed damage as well. Got a great Ash of War. Anyway, I'm going to show you where you can first meet him. If you want to take the other step, you can go here instead and defeat the dragon. Then re-talk to him. And this would be the first step. If you, you can do it either way, or do it the same way I did it through Mirkwood Cave. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you next time.